Well, I'll say two things. First of all, it's very interesting to me that so many people are now running away from the race of uh, the, 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 the no, label that's... of critical race theory. But He's I'm not gonna, a critical I'm race theorist. Just, hold on. I'm going to quote two critical race theorists. Barbara Applebaum in the book Being Good, Being White. She says, quote, all white people are racist. Uh, Robin DiAngelo, who's another critical whiteness She's studies scholar, says that, theorist. quote, nope. all, 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 white identity is inherently racist. So nope. what you're doing is you're playing a series of word games. Nope. You know that critical nope. whiteness studies That's is a ironic. subfield of critical race theory. No, it's not. Uh, these things are all deeply interrelated. No, they're not. They're and, not. And, and I'm not going to let not. you play word games. And this is I, this well, is really, I think, funny. the most essential thing. What I don't think is right is that forcing eight-year-olds in Cupertino, California, to deconstruct their racial identities That's and then rank themselves according to power and privilege. Let's, power and privilege. Let's, it's mm -hmm. intersectionality theory, which was invented That's by Kimberly Crenshaw. That's intersectionality. It's a separate thing. Which is part of critical race theory. No, it's not, dear. You had her on your show. Hello, and welcome back to another gaslighting therapy session with Drone Tech. You know, because misery loves company. This time we're going to be talking about Joyless Reed, MSNBC's resident racist huckster. In this interview, she's talking with a well-known CRT critic, Christopher Rufo, who, like many of us, see right through this Marxist Trojan horse. Now, I don't claim to be a CRT expert, but I do know a little about it, and it is tied to some nefarious ideas and ideology. We're going to dive a bit more into this interview, but first, check out this free offer for my viewers. There there's a 5,000 year old asset that's seen off every world crisis there ever was and thrived. Gold and precious metals. The oldest hedge against inflation and disaster. Your stability insurance. Put it into an IRA. You even defer the tax on all the gains until you retire, so you get compound growth on everything. That can add extra thousands of dollars to your fund over the years. Take out an IRA with Noble Gold this month. And along with first class service, they're gifting a one tenth ounce gold bullion American Eagle coin. You can find out more by visiting the link in the description or pinned comment, or simply go to their website at www.noblegoldinvestments.com. Or you could even call them at 877 646 5347. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech Politics sent you. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Let no, me no, respond no, at least once. I no, haven't gotten a full no, sentence no. out. Because I'm, I'm not going to let you. See, one of the things that, I, and I don't know, you probably never watched me on TV. Just, you know, we didn't know who each other were, you know, not so long ago. But I don't allow people to just make up and say lies on the show. It's just not really right to do that and yeah, let sure. people hear. But hold on. Just look at all those insane facial contortions she makes throughout this interview. It's almost like her skull is trying to escape her face. That's because she knows that if she lets this guy say too much, she's going to convincingly expose her and other CRT supporters as the communist racists that they are. Not to mention her ratings are tanking and getting owned on her own show by a CRT critic definitely won't help her. Wait, 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 wait. Am I right Robin D'Angelo is not a critical race theorist, and I want everyone to know that. Robin I, the, I don't know who the other woman is, but she's not. Reed plays this game of spin where Rufo will read off clearly racist statements from Joy's heroes, and her only response is that they're not critical race theorists. She doesn't have to be a critical race theorist, whatever that is. She just needs to use it as the basis for her anti-white racist ideas. <laughs> To take everything that annoys white no, Americans and white right. conservatives. No, Hold that's on. not right. You no. want to make a campaign oh, I mean, and stuff give, everything you, you in there. You played my that highlight reel. Annoyed, you played my highlight reel. Annoyed, give me a chance to respond. And you no, want to stuff wrong. it all into critical race theory, right? Wrong. 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 Let me just quickly say that I'm so sick of this dismissive, condescending attitude hate mongers like Joy Reid take when it comes to the so called things that annoy white people and conservatives. As if our concerns because we're white or because we're conservative has no legitimate basis. I'm not annoyed by CRT because I'm white or conservative, nor do I see it as a white issue. I care about CRT because I care about this country and everyone in it. I want us all getting along, not hating each other because of some Marxist cult. Is right is that forcing eight-year-olds in Cupertino, California to deconstruct their racial identities That's and then rank themselves according to power and privilege. Let's, power and privilege. Mm -hmm. It's intersectionality theory, which was invented That's by Kimberly Crenshaw. That's intersectionality. It's a separate thing. Which is part of critical separate race thing. theory. No, it's you, not, dear. You had her on your it's show. Not. You know She's this. A, yeah, she and, invented and both things. Line, Joy. She invented what you've both done things. in tonight's segment She's is exactly what I'm fighting thing. against. Okay, see, here we go again, where she's just making up these straw men that these people aren't certified critical race theorists. But as Rufo keeps attempting to point out, their rhetoric is derived from the tenets of CRT. Just pulled up in front of an old rickety building that looked like a project. Now, I've never been there before. I'm not sure if it was a project, but 
It certainly had all the familiar symptoms of a project. <laughs> she just admitted that yes, she invented both things, both intersectionality and critical race theory. The manipulation of language, I'm fighting right. against you're, language You're fighting against wokeness and, and you I'm don't like to corporate wokeness, etc. I get euphemistic it. I get terms it. with subversive right. content. Uh, because otherwise you just say whatever you want and then you back away from it and you yeah. dance around it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to happen. Let, Parents all over this country, they know what's on. happening in schools. Uh, they know second, what's Chris. happening in their public institutions. And you're uh -huh. seeing people revolt against this yes. divisive identity politics. Uh, and, and you can dance all you want. Uh, but you're not going to stop I, people from understanding what's happening I in actually, their classrooms. My God, that woman is insufferable. She wasn't even listening. She's just condescending because she knows that she's the one sitting in the position of power and influence. She's the one that gets to talk over her guests so he can't prove how full of crap she is. And believe me, I think we all know this, she cannot stand that people are standing up and pushing back against these school boards that have just assumed all this power and right to dictate what's going on in public schools. Most parents have just sat back and trusted these school boards for way too long and it's time to put it into it. No doubt, and she's already been doing Doing it, Joy will use her power to attack and demonize those parents. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. You all know what to do, and I'll see you all for tomorrow's video.